Hey guys, welcome to Sound Pure. Uh, I'm Barry, and in this video, we'll be looking at Thomas Nair drums. This particular one is out of the Tama Reserve program, uh, the Star Reserve program. This is the 7x14 Jatoba. Uh, this is a stave construction uh, snare drum. Uh, so, one of the beauties is it's kind of uh, got a sort of conga style construction. Uh, it's 16 planks that are kind of roughed in. Uh, with a 10 millimeter shell, final final product. So for you guys here in the U.S., that's uh, about three eighths of an inch thick. One of the great things about the kind of stave construction is that you have the ability to use different tone woods. Uh, so uh, for plies, you know, we typically are going to see the usual suspects: the, the the maples, the birches, the mahoganies, and that style stuff. But uh, with the conga style. Getting that thicker shell and being able to use harder tone woods makes for a very, very interesting um, kind of sonic experience. The Jatoba itself is about 61% harder than, than maple, so giving you these really kind of nice kind of sonic characteristics. It's sometimes referred to as the Brazilian cherry. Uh, obviously, the, the, the aesthetics of it is very reminiscent of that as well, uh, but again, with that, three mil, uh, that 10 millimeter shell and, and that hardness, it gives you just a really nice slam and crack. This is an eight lug drum. Uh, with uh, the tube lug style, so really not uh, taking away any, uh, adding any extra shell mass here, but uh, just enough to kind of give you this nice low fundamental note. They've added die cast tubes top and bottom here, just accentuating that, uh, that crack, but also kind of just keeping this drum in tune. Um, this also has the linear drive uh, strainer system. It's a fantastic, uh, smooth, effortless, uh, and then you've got sensitivity dials both on the strainer side as well as on the butt side. So just kind of minimizing the backing out of the snare sensitivity settings. Uh, this drum ships with Remo heads. It's got uh, coated ambassador top, snare side, ambassador bottom, 20 strand wires. One of the things that you'll also notice on this particular drum is that there are three large vents, about, about an inch in diameter just allowing some of this air to kind of escape, uh, just kind of exacting this drum out. This drum is available in our Try Before You Buy program. It's a hassle-free way to get this drum in your own hands and really appreciate and understand the nuances of this instrument at your own pace. I'm gonna drum this drum through a couple different tuning examples to kind of give you an idea of what it's capable of. Be right back. So that was the uh, Thomas Star Reserve uh, Jatoba uh, snare drum. Again, this is a stave style construction, uh, sometimes uh, referred to as a block, but uh, it kind of has this kind of conga construction. It's a 10 millimeter shell, so roughly about 3 eighths of an inch thick. So it's a fairly thick shell uh, with the hardness of this wood being 61% harder than maple. This has some really awesome sonic results. Couple that with the die cast hoops. This is definitely one of uh, uh, an amazing sonic experience. Great for studio application as well as a live application. My recommendation would definitely be in a live application given the shell thickness and the vents. Um, it's definitely uh, something, to, something to consider for you guys that are looking for something a little bit outside of the box and, and looking for something a little bit more exotic sounding. Keep in mind that we're always looking for quality trades as well, so if you find yourself not using something, give us a call and get traded up. If you like the video, please subscribe below. Don't forget to follow us on social media. You stay up to date with the latest arrivals as well as the current news. Thanks for watching.